This is the first of seven ceremonies to present Australian honours, most of which were announced on the Queen's birthday this year. We're also live streaming the ceremony on the Government House website and in a few days it'll be up there if you want to have a look at it again. I'm now going to ask you to please be upstanding for the arrival of the official party uh, and Her Excellency the Governor and to remain standing for the playing of the Vice Regal Salute. The official party today comprises the Honourable Dennis Hood, MLC, representing the Premier of South Australia, Mr Joe Sokash, MP, representing the Leader of the Opposition, Group Captain John Grime, representing the St Senior Australian Defence Force Officer, Edinburgh, Commander Alistair Cooper, ADCRAN, Commanding Officer, Navy Headquarters, South Australia, Lieutenant Colonel Philip Cox, representing the Army Area Representative, South Australia, and Assistant Commissioner Ian Parrott, representing the Commission of Police. I now give you Her Excellency, the Governor of South Australia, the Honourable Francis Adamson, AC, and Mr Rod Bunton. <laughs> Your Excellency, the following appointment to Officer of the Order of Australia in the General Division has been made. Professor Peter Mark Bartold is recognised for distinguished service to dentistry, to periodontal research and education, and to professional dental organisations. Professor Bartold completed his Bachelor of Dental Surgery at the University of Adelaide in 1979 and also holds doctorates in dental science and philosophy. He was Professor of Periodontics and Director of the Colgate Australian Clinical Dental Research Centre at the University of Adelaide from 1992 to 2017. Upon his retirement from the university, he was appointed Emeritus Professor. During his extensive career, Professor Bartolt authored more than 270 scientific papers. His research has specialised in using stem cells to regenerate structures surrounding and supporting the teeth, otherwise known as the periodontal tissue, as well as the relationship between periodontal health and the systemic health of the body. Professor Bartold has been a member of the editorial boards of 10 international dental journals and has lectured nationally and internationally in over 30 countries. He is a fellow of the Royal Australasian College of Dental Surgeons, the International College of Dentistry, the Academy of Dentistry International and the Pierre Fauchard Academy. Professor Peter Mark Bartold. Your Excellency, the following appointments to Member of the Order of Australia in the General Division have been made. Dr Richard Abbott is recognised for significant service to medicine and to leukaemia research. For more than 20 years, Dr Abbott dedicated himself to the advancement of the Peter Nelson Leukaemia Research Fellowship Fund. Bringing his leadership skills and background in haematology to the role of Chair, he oversaw the seamless integration of the fund into a formal fellowship of the Cancer Council of South Australia as well as presiding over board meetings, selecting and appointing researchers, as well as administration and liaison, he helped guide the fund to the success it is today. Dr Abbott founded the privately owned Abbott Pathology in 2001, which is now part of the broader Specialist Diagnostic Services National Network of Specialist Practices. He is also recognised for his services to the Australian Medical Association in South Australia, the Royal Australasian College of Physicians and Gribbles Pathology. Respected for his ethical integrity, Dr Abbott is widely known for his kindness, warmth and the support he gives to people facing serious disease. Dr Richard Abbott.
Mr. Robert John Gregory is recognised for significant service to the community of South Australia. Mr. Gregory has dedicated his professional career and much of his retirement to supporting our state, its workers and its many community organisations. Mr. Gregory was a member of the South Australian Parliament for 11 years. He represented the electorate of Florey and undertook ministerial portfolios including Labor and Marine, correctional services and state services. Mr. Gregory worked tirelessly for worker rights. He was Secretary of the United Trades and Labor Council of South Australia for six years, as well as an executive member of the Australian Council of Trade Unions. He is also a former chair of the Disability Advocacy and Complaints Service of South Australia and a committee, mem committee member of the Roma Mitchell Community Legal Service. After his political career, Mr Gregory devoted his time and energy to a multitude of community organisations. He is a former president of the Lions Club of Modbury and the Rose Society of South Australia, a friend of the Botanic Gardens of Adelaide and a member of Heritage Roses in Australia. Mr Robert John Gregory. Mr Anthony John Phillips is recognised for significant service to optometry and to professional optical societies. Professor Phillips dedicated much of his professional career to educating optometrists and students about contact lenses and to treating paediatric patients. For many years he led Australia's first medical contact lens units for adults at Flinders Medical Centre and for children and babies at the Women and Children's Hospital Adelaide, helping hundreds of babies and children with cataracts, eye injuries and ocular disease. Professor Phillips taught hundreds of optometry students about contact lenses at Flinders University as head of contact lens teaching at the School of Optometry and Vision Science. For many years, he also ran his own private practice and was heavily involved in the Cornea and Contact Lens Society of Australia, undertaking two terms as president and establishing its fellowship program. Professor Phillips wrote and edited several textbooks on contact lenses and related eye diseases, now used by thousands of optometrists. He is the author of The Optometrist's Practitioner Patient Manual, a book of photos and diagrams to help optometrists communicate with patients about their ocular conditions. Mr Anthony John Phillips. Emeritus Professor Barbara Jean Santich is recognised for significant service to tertiary education, to gastronomy, food culture and history. More than 30 years ago, Emeritus Professor Santich developed a strong interest in the science of food and eating when she studied biochemistry at university. Later, she developed a love of French cooking and language, travelling extensively in France and completing a PhD at Flinders University, exploring Mediterranean French cuisine of the 14th and 15th centuries. Her dual loves of French and Australian cooking have informed much of her career. Emeritus Professor Santich has published several books with Wakefield Press. The most recent is Bold Palates, Australia's Gastronomic Heritage, which explores the ways of eating which are distinctively Australian, such as dishes using indigenous ingredients. She has contributed to numerous Australian newspapers and magazines, as well as overseas publications, including the Journal of Gastronomy, 
the Oxford Companion to Food, the New York Times, and Slow, the quarterly magazine of the international slow food movement. Emeritus Professor Santich has planned and created several programs in the University of Adelaide, including the Graduate Program in Food Studies and the Graduate Program in Gastronomy. Emeritus Professor Barbara Jean Santich. Your Excellency, the Medal of the Order of Australia in the General Division has been awarded to the following recipients. Mr. Thomas Robin Convoy is recognised for service to the community of Mount Gambier. Mr. Convoy has generously, generously given his time to many committees and service groups in the Mount Gambier region. He was on the Boandic Aged Care Facility Building and Ground Standing Committee for 10 years and in 2001 was a founding member of the old Mount Gambier Jail Community Garden, where he is still active. Having owned a garden centre before retiring, Mr Convoy continues to provide his ex extensive horticultural knowledge and expertise to the community. His love for Mount Gambier can be seen in his devotion to the local Lions Club for more than 30 years, the Mount Gambier University of the Third Age, the Friendship Force of Mount Gambier, and the local Hospital Gardens Subcommittee. In 2016, he was named Mount Gambier Citizen of the Year, and other awards include Mount Gambier Senior Citizen of the Year and the James D. Richardson Honor Award from Mount Gambier Lions. Mr. Thomas Robin Conboy. Mr John Andrew Ford is recognised for service to the community of Port Adelaide. The rich maritime history of Port Adelaide lives on through Mr Ford's respected artwork, historical research, public speaking and tour guiding. Known for his lovingly executed paintings of historic ships and port scenes, he has many exhibitions and art awards to his credit. His work has been commissioned for many Australian and international collections. Mr Ford joined the inaugural committee to build South Australia's SAIL training ship, the One and All, and still serves on the board and is a life member. He is also recognised for his community, community commitment through the Victoria Road Air Quality Committee and Port Adelaide Renewal Steering Committee. A driving force behind the Port Adelaide Community Arts Centre, in 2013 he received an Australia Day Award for services to the arts and the community from the Port Adelaide Enfield Council. Mr John Andrew Ford.
Mr Graham Lloyd Hall is recognised for service to the community of Marion. Mr Hall has been a volunteer for more than 50 years, including more recent roles as a community bus volunteer and a Justice of the Peace at the City of Marion. His commitment to service was shaped at age 10 when he joined Cubs. He enthusiastically took part in the Bobs for Jobs initiative where boys earned shillings for doing odd jobs in the community. Since then, Mr Hall has been involved with groups such as Marion Probus, Rotary Marion, the Meningi CFS, Meningi Lions, Minda and various sporting clubs and has received a number of community service awards during this time. These include an Unsung Heroes Award from the City of Marion and a Paul Harris Fellow Award from Rotary. He is also a life member of the Meningi Football Club. A former bus driver for Trans Adelaide at Morfordville, Mr Hall has, in his retirement, driven community buses for several organisations and is known amongst his passengers for his warm welcome. Mr Graham Lloyd Hall. Mrs Kim Mears is recognised for service to the community through charitable initiatives. In 2012, Mrs Mears' daughter was diagnosed with West, West Syndrome, which can give infants multiple seizures every day. She and her husband founded Isla's Pur Purple Crusade, raising money for epilepsy services and support. The money has funded such resources as seizure monitors, children's camps, community support and education. Mrs Mears has been a volunteer and fundraiser with the Epilepsy Association of South Australia and Northern Territory since 2010. In 2016, she won the Epilepsy Australia Golden Light Award for the Purple Crusade, and in 2017, she was named an SA Local Hero and won a statewide Superheroes Award. That same year, she received a Certificate of Recognition for her contribution to the Ep Epilepsy Centre from the Governor of South Australia. Mrs Mears was involved in lobbying for the legalisation of medicinal marijuana, which took place in 2016, as it has been shown to be a successful treatment for epilepsy. Mrs Kim Mears. Mr John Michael Muller is recognised for service to Catholic education. Raised in Brisbane and educated by the Franciscans, Mr Muller has dedicated his life to creating excellence in the Catholic education system. He has worked in this system across four states, most recently as Deputy Director of School Quality and Performance for the Catholic Education Office in South Australia. Mr Muller previously held leadership roles in Tasmania, New South Wales and Queensland as well as with the national education organisations. He is the Board Director of Education Services Australia and the Catholic Education Network and is former Deputy Chair of the National Catholic Education Commission. He is also an advisory board member of the Asia Education Foundation and the Australian College of Educators. In 2009, Mr Muller won the William Walker Award for Educational Leadership from the New England branch of the Australian Council for Education Leaders. He was named a Fellow of the Australian College of Educational Leaders in 2016 
and of the Australian College of Educators in 2010. Mr Michael John Muller. Mr Joseph Peter Stevens is recognised for service to athletics. As race director of the City Bay Fun Run for 17 years, Mr Stevens took the Fun Run from a small volunteer-led initiative and turned it into the iconic world-class community event we know today. In addition to this role, Mr Stevens is a board member of the Commonwealth Games Association South Australian Division and is past president of Athletics SA and the South Australian Olympic Council. From 2013 to 18, he chaired the South Australian State Sport Disputes Centre. Mr Stevens is a life member of Athletics Australia and sits on its Facilities and Equipment Commission. He has held official positions in international sporting events such as the Gold Coast and Melbourne Commonwealth Games, the Adelaide World Police and Fire Games and the Sydney Olympic and Paralympic Games. Mr Joseph Peter Stevens. Mrs Jill Swan is recognised for service to the galleries sector. As a volunteer at the Art Gallery of South Australia since 2008 and guide coordinator from 2015 to 16, Mrs Swan has shared her love of art with many visitors to the gallery. She sits on the board of the Nora Heysen Trustees and volunteers at The Cedars, Hans Heysen's former home and now museum in Verdun. Among her duties at the museum is to use her superior writing skills to edit its newsletter. In 2015, Mrs Swan co-convened the 20th Biennial National Conference of the Australian Association of Gallery Guiding Organisations, held in Adelaide. As well as her volunteer work in the gallery sector, Mrs Swan has been involved with the South Australian branch of the Children's Book Council of Australia. She is a past committee member, book reviewer and judge, and edited the not-for-profit organisation's newsletter from 1986 to 1991. Mrs Jill Swan. Your Excellency, that concludes the presentations for this morning.